Hi, Matt here and welcome to M2M and this episode of Quick Questions. I had a question posted on my Discord from Timbo Turtle and he asks, We don't hear much about what the Chinese are finding on the moon. Have they found anything interesting? Well, yes, Timbo, as a matter of fact, they did. And I'm pretty sure I can answer this in under three minutes. But before I do, Timbo Turtle has his own channel where he debunks flat earth things. So go check out his channel, maybe give him a sub and let him know who sent you. So let's answer this question. Start the clock. In 2019, the Chinese National Space Administration, or CSNA, as I call it from now on in, landed a probe called Chang'e 4 on the far side of the moon. It then deployed a little rover called U2 number two, or U2-2. Not long after the rover deployed and started taking photos, one image caused something of a stir among both the scientific community and especially among our conspiracy theory friends and what appeared to be an oblong shaped object on the lunar surface, which was labeled by the CSNA as the mystery shed. Theories as to what it was were both wild and weird, including alien buildings. But of course the CSNA were going to investigate this strange object. So without further ado, controllers commanded U22 to make a series of maneuvers to get it within better visual range to find out what it was. Well, the final image did satisfy that it wasn't a building or anything oblong in shape, but it was a rock that resembled something the shape of a rabbit. Well, of course, I'm sure this created even more wild theories. Another discovery of more scientific nature found that as the U2 rover moved around the lunar surface, it was noticed that the rover's wheels were slipping far less than on the near side of the moon, which suggested that this part of the moon was flatter in geography compared to the near side. It was also noted that the craters seemed to be smaller on average than on the near side, but most of those craters appeared to be secondary impacts from the larger impact craters rather than separate, separate impacts themselves. There also seemed to be more craters than the near side, but it was thought that this wasn't from more impacts rather than the near side had much more volcanic activity in the early years of the moon's life, washing out for, want of a better phrase, many of the craters on that side. Further to that, it was found that the lunar dust seemed to be clumping more readily on the wheels of the rover, more like soil. And after some analysis, it was found that this lunar soil on this side of the moon seemed to be stickier in nature compared to the near side of the moon. According to this new scientist article, the Chinese scientists had claimed they had discovered more about the nature of this soil but declined to comment any further for whatever reason. So I hope this answers your question, Timbo. Stop the clock. So that's all for me. Until the next time, stay safe.